I'm stealing my capo back from Jim, who stole it from me earlier. It's a capo caper. It's a capo caper. That's right. C is for capo murder. It's my, it's my series of uh, music mysteries. A is for acoustic murder. B is for bassoon. You know what C is, we already talked about C. Uh, this next song is uh, Travis McElroy's fault. He has, uh, he has asked me, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, this seems to be his favorite song. And, oh, there he is. Everybody. He's asked me every year to do it, and every year I'm like, eh, I'll try, and then I don't do it. So finally, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it this year. This is it. Yeah, you can, sure. Do you want to cut? Do you want to, you can, okay. Just stop moving in a creepy way. Just, yeah, just sit there and hold the small doll's head. It makes me feel good. Uh, this is, uh, this is from, this is, oh boy. This is a song about lobsters, but not the lobsters you're thinking of. It's a long story, but John Hodgman wrote a book of fake facts, stories about fake facts, and one of them, the one thing, <laughs> one was this idea that there was another animal called a lobster, originally, and it was more like an otter, it was like a furry otter thing, and that the lobsters that we have now were sort of invasive species that came and destroyed all the other, the old furry kind of lobster. makes a lot of sense when you read it in the book. <laughs> and so I wrote a song uh, bemoaning uh, the, the, uh, the decline in population of the original furry lobster. It's called Furry, furry Old Lobster. They have neither whiskers nor paws. Makes no sense. <laughs> Old furry lobsters so easily crushed in the grip of their terrible claws. <laughs> Sing, hey, hidey ho, where the old monster go? And his body so furry and brown. Sing, ho, hidey, hey, have they all gone away? For we haven't seen many around. No, we haven't seen many Yeah, I 
think so. I think it might have been. Amen. <laughs>